Hi, this is Crystal, and we're going to go through ventricular rhythms in this video. So if you have watched some of the other videos, um, we're going to use the conduction pathway to teach you how to look for ventricular rhythms and tell them apart. Um, definitely watch video one that talks about measuring and all of the inherent rates and all of the uh, baseline pathophysiology that you need to make uh, arrhythmia and recognizing the different rhythms much simpler. So we're going to look at that uh, conduction pathway again. So the conduction pathway has the SA node, goes down to the AV node, it has the bundle of hiss and the bundle branches. And it also has a safety net at the AV junction. Now in the ventricular rhythms, this is where stimulation is actually starting from the ventricle itself. It means that there's something very, very wrong with the way that the heart conduction is working and the heart's just trying to keep itself alive. That's kind of the point of that. So with our first one, let's say that our stimulation point is down here in the ventricle. It still wants to get over to that conduction pathway to make the heart pump, but it's going to come from one stimulation point. And what happens when the uh, stimulation happens in the ventricle itself, it makes it very wide. But the shape is going to be the same because it's one stimulation point. You're just going to have a QRS. You're not going to have anything else. So this is a very, very standard ventricular tachycardia. This is usually a very fast rate, um, but you can have a slow VTAC as well but most of them will be pretty rapid. So you're looking for that wide QRS. Obviously you have no P wave because nothing's coming from up above. This is simply um, a ventricular tachycardia. Now with this one, the patient can either have a pulse or not have a pulse. And so with this one, you wanna make sure that you are paying attention to that uh, for the patient. Now with the next one, let's say that we have multiple stimulation points in the ventricle that are trying to fire. So much like the rhythm that we talked about back in the atrial rhythm, uh, our atrial fibrillation, we now have multiple stimulation points, so you're going to have multiple shapes. and it's going to be very rapid. So in other words, the heart is just fibrillating. It's never really pumping. So this is gonna be your ventricular fibrillation. Now with this one, the easiest way to tell VTAC and V-fib apart is if you draw a line at the top and the bottom, in VTAC, it's gonna hit every time. If I draw a line on the top and bottom of this one, it will not hit every time. So that's a really simple trick to be able to differentiate VTAC and VFib. Okay, so VTAC is one stimulation point, VFib is multiple stimulation points. Now, this is obviously a medical emergency because it's just fibrillating, we're never getting any pumping. And so with this one, they usually obviously are not gonna have a pulse. Make sure you check your leads before you do anything because it could just be some leads that are off. That's always the first thing you check. Uh, so this is a patient that definitely needs some help. Now, the last thing that can happen in the ventricular rhythms is that you can have the ventricle that has no stimulation, no stimulation firing. That's gonna give us our flat line. Flat line is gonna be our asystole. So asystole, obviously a medical emergency as well. We need to make sure to be coding that patient if appropriate. Um, again, with asystole, check your leads. If your patient's talking to you, you don't have asystole, okay? So those are the three that are in the ventricular rhythms. Go ahead and look for one more video that talks about a bonus video about premature beats and uh, SVT, and that's something that you should find helpful. Have a good day.